What's up guys, my name's Noah. I make music as Haterade and you are watching The Productive Producer. I've been making a lot of house music lately and I've been using Operator way more than I ever have. So today I wanna show you guys a couple of really cool basses that you can make with Operator and all stock plugins inside Ableton. Before we get into that, I wanna say thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And to say thank you, I have a free gift for you guys in the description. It is a free finishing music checklist if you have have any problems finishing music go check out that checklist it's full of tips from me that I've accumulated over the years it's really helped me out a lot so I hope it helps you guys out all right let's get into the first bass first bass is very percussive it's a it's a it and it's all an operator this first bass is a very percussive bass it's almost a drum sound check it out Well, let's hear it without any of the effects on it. So what we did here, we have the first oscillator. We have it down at 0.5 coarse, which is essentially kind of like the octave. And we have the decay at 1.25 seconds. Then we have the second oscillator has the decay at 487. Also a sine wave at coarse 2. We have that one up at negative 14 dB. And then this one is a saw wave and we have that decay at 174. And all of those together combined feeding into the next one. And we won't go into how operator really works today. Maybe we'll do that for another video. Today we're just focused on the patches. Next part is the LFO. It's by default on all of the oscillators and we're gonna switch that just to the filter. And speaking of the filter, we're gonna switch to a low pass filter. We can select it right there. And we're gonna set the LFO from saw down. We're gonna hit that retrigger button and we're bring the rate somewhere around 82.6. Bring that amount all the way up. Gives it that lasery sound. Next part, we're gonna do the saturator. We're just gonna give this 8 dB and soft clip it. And then the next part is the vocoder. We're gonna switch it to the noise setting. And we're gonna switch the bands to 20. We'll bring that formant up. And bring that depth up too. We can, maybe we can make that a little snappier. So we're gonna turn the OTT on. We're gonna bring the output up to 60. We're gonna bring that time all the way up and bring the amount to 72%. Then we're going to use the drum bus, bring that drive up to 27%, bring the trim down negative 3.44, bring the transients all the way back down. Then the comes the most important part, which is the compressed room reverb. We're gonna take the compressed room reverb, just hit a quick command F or control F and type in compressed room reverb. This thing, this preset will pop up. Bring the room size down, bring the compression amount down a little bit and bring the room amount down to about 80% and then it, we get this sound. Also, don't forget too, we, we wanna have a sub here as well. Next one, this one's more of a bass housey type bass. Let's check this one out. So let's turn off the audio effects here. You can hear those pitch bends in there. We're gonna get to that in a second. So let's go through the oscillators real quick. This one, we got the sub sort of built into the bottom there. The next one we have a also a sine wave decay or sustain all the way down decay at 400 milliseconds the next one we have the sustain all the way up which the decay doesn't mean anything on this one if the sustain is all the way up and then we have the last oscillator which the decay is at 1.7 seconds and this one i believe yeah it's just a sine wave with that one harmonic right there at the bottom then we have we have same thing as the last one we have a saw down lfo with a filter which is brought down here we have a little bit of a resonant bump there and we have the the filter type set to OSR with a little bit of filter drive there. Now the next part is pretty important too because by default, the routing is set up like this. Which doesn't sound bad, but this sounds better. So we wanna switch it to that routing and then we want to bring the voices down to one. So we're working with a bass here. And we wanna bring that pitch range up plus 24 semitones. And that'll allow us to 
draw in pitch bends into our MIDI clip to give us that movement there. Now we go into our effect rack. Let's go into the amp first. I wanna set this to dual in case I wanna add some stereo spread in here. If we have it on mono, it won't add that stereo spread. Let's add a little bit of stereo spread. Who doesn't like stereo imaging? And we just bring the bass down, bring the middle down a little bit, switch it to the boost setting, and bring the dry wet back to 70%-ish. Then we bump it back up with the saturator. Then we carve out some of those mid-range frequencies here with this EQ8 and give it a low-end bump. You can also throw on the compressed room reverb on the back of this guy too. Last one. without the effects. First one down to 0.5, next one up to four, decay at 487 there. This one's got the decay at 206. Remember all the sustains are down to minus infinity. That will give us that, that sharp plucky sound. So we got our LFO here, same as all of them. And then we have just a subtle low pass here. Just gives us a little bit of movement. Then we'll send it to the oscillator, give it a 1.71 dB bump. And then we'll switch on the vocoder. We're switching it to modulator mode. And we're just gonna drag down these guys down here. We can just sort of. We're gonna, we're gonna drag these nodes down here and switch the bands to eight. We're gonna bring that range down too from way up here down to here. Well, then we're also going to bring the depth up, bring the release up a little bit and bring the dry wet down. And we'll actually bring those up a little bit more. That sounds better. All right, then we're gonna switch to this shelf life preset, which is pretty cool. So it gives us a really cool spacey reverb effect. And then to finalize it, we're just gonna add a little bit of saturation here on the back end to bring it up a little bit more in the mix. There you go. Three different house bases that you can make in operator with all stock plugins, all in Ableton. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, free finishing music checklist in the description of this video and new video next Tuesday. So thanks guys. See you next week.